Hello class, uh, our topic will be electromotive force or EMF, potential difference, and voltage. So I'll just put my whiteboard here. Um, so I have an example here, uh, a car on the top of the mountain. So we'll just assume that this is a mountain, okay? So we consider that the car is in the high potential region because it is standing above the ground and okay and with the gravitational force so if this is the high potential region naabot tay low potential region so unsa may tabo ana if ang car is manaog from high to low so the car will move by itself okay let's see Okay, so if ang car is moved by itself, there is also an energy behind of that, and it is called kinetic energy due to motion. Okay, let's repeat the example. From high potential energy, the object will move by itself. So even ang dili sa car. Any object that that is in high potential energy, it will move by itself. The the potential energy in the low potential in the lower area is zero. Okay, so another example: if a car is nan as a low potential energy, and gusto niya gusto na to ma abot sa high potential, will it move by itself? The answer is no. So what do we need? We need something that will push the object. So that thing is called driving force. So the example of driving force at the object is car man is engine force. So from low potential in the region going to high potential region, ang nagpasaka to niya is ang Driving force. Okay, so since na naman tayo sequence sa ato ang energy, ang hitabo dyan na niya sa ato ang sa ato ang object is more na siya from high to low, muliyok mo dagan sa iyaha. So the object will move by itself. Then sa pikas sa sad from low to high, it needs a driving force. So mo balik balik kaniya, ikabut na sa babaw automatic mo na og Dayon musak musaka na sensiya with the driving force. Later on, we'll know better using this example. So example lang ko ni so na makakuha mo idea no sa tuwang electromotive force, potential difference, and voltage. So more na siya kuryente ba? More alternating current no na maglilihok bata. Yan yun siya ang example. So, before tamo proceed, there are three facts sa ako ang gi-example, no? First is, object that moves from high potential energy down to lower potential energy will move by itself. Okay? Second, we need driving force like engine like engine force To move an object from low potential region to high potential region. So here, magimo ko example na para masab mas madat to na to masabtan ang ako ang to ang experiment. So magimo tao point H o point L. So meaning anang H is high, then point L is low. So let's assume that sa high potential energy, nasay five Electron charges, no, five energy. Then sa low potential energy is na say two energy. So ato na mag sign nga i, hindi na ni. So five e. Let's assume that the potential energy of this is ten joules. Then the potential energy of this is seven, ah, three joules.
So, we all know that sa itong example nga, from high potential energy down to po low potential energy, uh, it moves by itself. So, moves it down. So, the potential difference ani is 7 joules. So, muna pagkuha sa potential difference. So, ang meaning sa potential difference is the energy difference between two points in electric field. Again, the energy difference between two points in electrical field. From high to low, uh, it produces kinetic energy. So, kung naugman siya, it will move by itself. It produces kinetic energy. So, we all know that this charge possesses 7 joules of kinetic energy. So, we, sh we should also know that uh, this energy moves from point H to point L, which is the high and low, due to potential difference. So, muna ito ang potential difference. Ito na pwede. And it possesses 7 joules of kinetic energy. So, we can call this now the 7 joules of kinetic energy as voltage. So, therefore, the energy possessed by charges due to potential difference is voltage. So, kaning 7 joules na voltage is pwede na siya i-convert to heat, light, and sound. And so on. So, muna siya ang klase ha sa mga energy nga makaproduce sa ito ang voltage. So, dagang klase, klase, klase ng energy ang pwede i-produce. So, katong akong example gani ha, di ba, naman ito katong ang object is from low potential to high Kaya nun siya og driving force. So, mukha siya from low to high. Kaya nun ta og driving force. So, kung saan itong gamitin nga example ane para sa ito ang driving force is kaya nun ta og battery para muna siya ay mupalihok sa ito ang energy or sa the battery will provide the necessity of energy from low potential to high potential. So, unsa may tabo if ma, ma, ang from low to high, mubalik na siya from high to low. Okay? So, the battery again will move the low potential energy to high potential energy. Then, so, mabalik-balik na siya. So, sa battery, from low to high, then from high to low. Okay? Nga nung muna akong siya? Because we all know that from high potential energy, it will move by itself from low potential energy. Then, from low potential energy, the driving force will help it uh, to provide so that it can go to high potential energy. So, therefore, the battery provides or, the, or it helps the constant flow of energy in a circuit. So, ang kanyang battery mo nang og electromotive force or EMF. So, therefore, ang kanang driving force na to, na battery is the device that keeps the constant flow of charges across the circuit. So, muna yung dan nga nung ato ang battery ya mahurot, di ba? Kaya siya may mabuhata og driving force. Example, kung ang ato ang itaod na sa radyo. So, from low potential to high potential, ang battery is maghata sa driving force. Then, muna ako siya from high to low. So, muna, ang, muna siya flow sa ato ang circuit. Para, ang kanang potential katong, lakanta po ng potential difference from high to low, low to high, hindi na siya hinaya, paspas ka na sa tanan, may tabo. Okay, so, ang kanang potential difference needed na siya para na-flow ang current sa ato ang circuit. As you can see, bottle A is filled with water above center line of the bottle and in bottle B, water is filled below center line. In technical language, I would say 
bottle A is having electric potential of 10 volt and bottle B is having electric potential of 4 volts. Now if I connect a small pipe between these two bottles then what will happen? Let's check that out. So as you can see after connecting a pipe between these two bottles water has started flowing from bottle A to bottle B. That is from higher potential to lower potential. Water is flowing because there is a difference in water level of both the bottles. Water will now continue to flow until water level of both the bottles becomes same. Here you can see water is not flowing as the level of both the bottles are now equal. So what we understood? Difference in water level needed to make water to flow from one bottle to another. In technical language, I would call this difference in water level as potential difference or voltage. So now I can modify my sentence as potential difference is needed to make electrons flow from one position to another. So we are now clear about the potential difference or voltage. Potential difference or voltage is required to make electrons flow from one position to another. Now let's get back to our experiment.